Hi, I'm Bridget and I'm the background researcher. Background research is the first step in the archaeological method. What I do is I look up as much information as possible on what we're digging for before we start digging. This, I do this so we know what we're looking for, know where, where to look, and what we should bring. This step is very important because without the step we wouldn't know what to do. Hello, my name is Dr. J. I'm the team's archaeologist. I'm in charge of the excavation process. The excavation process is step two in the archaeological method. This step takes place during the digging. During the step, you see, during the step, safety is always first. For the excavation process to take place, you need a digging permit. You have to carefully survey the site to make sure it is safe to dig. You also need to have correct equipment for the digging, and you uh, and you need to make sure everyone on the team has a clearly defined role. These are some of the things that we have found on, so far on our dig for the Jer on the Jericho city, city of Jericho. This is, a, this is a brick from the Jericho wall, which is very famous. Well, we think it's a brick. And this is a plate with some shards. Now my is all dirty. Um, I found a shovel, I'm pretty sure, because I don't think I found any other further use to it. And then I think this is a rake. And because it works very well for scratching things and scratching leaves. Scraping up the ground. And scraping the ground. I think they found a vault where they used to bury their people in. I don't know for sure, but I definitely think it would be. And we found also found a shard of a wheel. So I'm guessing they had like wheels on them. And this is also a canteen that we think they would drink out of. Hi, I am Dr. Brett, and I am in charge of analyzing our findings. My job is to analyze the artifacts we found at the dig. Analyzing the artifacts is the third step of the archaeological method. I determine what the artifacts you use and who they used by and when they were used. Every one hour we spend at the dig, we spend two and 10 hours in the lab. And this is a vault that the Jericho used to bury their people in. And Jay, what do you have? I have what looks like a wheel, because it looks like a, little, a shard of a wheel, because it looks like you might be able to spin if you had the other half. Then I have two large shards of a piece of pottery or a plate with fish bones on them, that's what the, the Jericho used to do, and also have a smaller shark. What do you analyze, Jackson? Um, looks like that I have a, a canteen that would hold water. It looks like you can like, drink out of it. That just holds water in there. And then I have some sort of rock. It's like in a rectangular shape, and it looks like it was part of the famous Jericho wall. It's very famous. I have what we believe is a shovel because you can dig things with it and um, a rake. Hi, I'm Caitlin and I'm in charge of publicizing the team's finding. Publication is the fourth step in the archaeological method. Right now we're writing a newspaper article to be published so the public can read all about what we found in our archaeological dig on the city of Jericho. Hi, I am Dr. Jackson. I am the preservationist of our team. Preservation is the last step of the archaeological method. In this step, we carefully wrap up our artifacts with this special cloth that helps preserve our artifacts. I do, we do this because in the future, if a different scientist finds an artifact that relates to ours, we can go back and observe our artifacts again without them being damaged or ruined.